Are you walking in good faith? I'm Tim Greenwood, and this is Windows on the Word. This is a new day. It's a new season. It's a new awakening. This is a brand new opportunity to wake up, to put away apathy, to put away passiveness. This is a new opportunity to take charge and take control over your lives and over your future. Churches all over the land are crying out for revival when most of them don't need revival. Only a dead man needs revival. But they do need to wake up. They need that new awakening. They need to snap to and, and wake up to see the world around them, excuse the expression, going to hell in a handbasket. They need to become activated. They need to become the assembly of the body of Jesus Christ, moving as one unified, mobilized army that he called us to be, walking in good faith. Walking in good faith is a process. There's four steps to walking in good faith. I call it the four A's. Number one, you have to ascertain it. You've got to learn it. You've got to hear about it. You've got to read about it. You've got to learn. You've got to come to know God's good faith offers that he has for you. Romans 10, 17 says, So then, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Thousands of promises and statements of fact throughout the Bible are good faith offers to you from God. But you first have to know that that offer even exists. That brings us to number two, assure yourself. Believe, have faith, have confidence, have the assurance, have the trust that God's word is good. So is God's word any good? God said that if he ever lies, if he ever fails to, to keep his promises, then he, he puts his Godhead on the line. So is God's word any good? Of course it is. Every one of his offers are bona fide. I like that word, bona fide. Number three, appropriate it, claim it, possess it, take an ownership of it. Claim that offer. Make it yours by verbally accepting the offer and then converting it into a legally binding, good faith, contractual relationship between you and God. This is you saying aloud what God has already said in His Word. This is you and your Word committing to it. And now that you've made your commitment, the question becomes, is your Word any good? Number four, apply it. You have to use it, employ it, work it, give it your time and attention. And what is it? I'm talking about what your contract says. And then continually reassure God that you're still all in the contractual relationship by saying aloud what God has said in the contract. Just keep repeating it to Him. This is your part. This is where you've got to take your stand. Ephesians 6, 13 through 14 says, And having done all to stand, guess what? Stand therefore. So you need to know what God's written word has to offer so that you can convert that offer into a contract by proclaiming aloud God's offer that you've chosen to convert and then commit to it as a contract. Then to consistently build a reputation of good faith one should continue to enter into and to fulfill one good faith contractual relationship after another, after another, after another, without breaching them, step by step, good faith contract after good faith contract, making it a way of life. Romans 1.17 says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Now, if I had to paraphrase that, I'd say within that good news is revealed the impeccable reputation of God through an ongoing succession of one successfully fulfilled good faith relationship after another, and then after another, and after another. 
It's even recorded in Habakkuk 2.4 that those that come to have a good reputation are those that live a lifestyle of good faith. This is a new day. It's a new season. It's a new awakening. Every one of us can be victorious in everything that we do if we follow the lead of Jesus.